Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at how to construct cross sections. Okay. Now, a cross section is the shape that you create when you cut through an object. So notice that if a loaf of bread is cut through, the cross section is in the shape of a slice of that bread. So we can say that a cross section is a slice through the landscape. While a map shows an aerial view of the land, the cross section helps us to see more accurately what the landscape looks like from a side view. Now, let's say that in your exam, you are given this question. The question reads, construct a cross section from the hotel to the factory. Notice that the map is showing the land as though we are viewing it from above. The aim of doing the cross section is to show how the land looks from the side through that length from the hotel to the factory. So it is as if we are cutting through the land from the hotel to the factory and showing the side view or the shape of the land from the hotel to the factory. But we are doing all of this on paper. And so to achieve this, we will first need to draw a line on the map from the hotel to the factory. At this point, we will also need to study the contour pattern and try to imagine what is happening to the land. Notice, for example, that the land is rising from the hotel to the factory. How do we know this? Notice that the lower value contours are closer to the hotel and the contour lines with higher values are closer to the factory. So we know that lower land has lower contour values. Another thing we notice is that the land is steeper at lower levels and gentle at higher levels. Again, how do we know this? We notice that the contour lines are closer together where the values are lower and that they are far apart at the higher value contour lines. Another thing we can deduce is that the type of slope being shown is a convex slope. If you have not already watched my video on different types of slopes, 
go ahead and do so. I will put a link in the description box for you. But a convex slope is one where the land is steeper at the bottom of the slope and gentler at the top of the slope. So this is what we are seeing. And so before we even draw our cross section, we know exactly what we are supposed to expect to see. So now we are going to get a piece of paper and we are going to place the straight edge of that paper along the line of section. We will now mark off the points where each contour line crosses the edge of the paper and write down the values of the contour lines on the paper. At this point, we could also put in uh, any other feature that is crossing uh, along the edge of the paper maybe a river for example or a road or some other important feature but this map that we're looking at is a simple map and we only have the contour lines crossing the paper now on an empty piece of paper we are going to create a frame with two lines of axes, the y-axis will be used to show the height of the land, while the x-axis will be used to show the distance. We will also have to decide on a, an appropriate vertical scale. We have to make sure that the cross section will be able to fit on the frame. Next, we are going to place the straight edge paper just below the vertical axis. Now, if you wish, you could transfer the contour values to the x-axis, but that's not a must. Now it is time to plot the points. And what we're trying to do is to match the heights indicated on the paper by the contour values with the corresponding height levels on the y-axis. I would advise that you use a ruler for this section and try to remember not to leave out any point as this will affect the shape of the cross section. Now, after we have plotted all of the points, we are going to use a freehand curve to join all of the points. Now, let me emphasize a freehand curve. We're not going to use a ruler at this point to join the points. Now we will complete the cross section by labeling the axis, if we have not already done so, and putting on a suitable title. 
Now, another thing we could do to complete our cross section is to actually shade the land. So to do this, we can draw another line opposite but parallel to the y-axis. That way we will get an area and we can shade inside of that area. Notice that our cross section is showing that the land is steeper at the foot of the slope and gentler at the top of the slope. So this is a convex slope as we had realized before. Now, sometimes we are also asked to state if a place is visible or not from a particular point on a map. This is known as intervisibility. Intervisibility on a map is when one point can be seen from another and vice versa. If there is no physical obstruction and we can therefore see between the two points, we say that they are intervisible. So the motor car at B is not visible from where the man is standing since there is a blocking feature. However, the motor car at A is intervisible. So besides helping us to view the shape of the land, cross sections are also useful in helping us to determine determine intervisibility between two places. And to find intervisibility on a cross section, we need to draw a straight line between the two points in question. If the straight line, which we call the line of sight, passes clearly between the two points, then the two points are intervisible. If, on the other hand, the line of sight is obstructed or does not pass clearly between the two points, then there is no intervisibility. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching. Remember to like, to share, and to subscribe to Geography Journey.